Welcome to RemoteShack.com. Thanks for stopping by. Today I'm going to tell you a little bit about our latest product which is our RBC8 REL, RBC9 REL, and RBC10 REL and how they all work together to provide you eight different relay contacts of either low voltage or 120 volt uh, outlets for you to use uh, under DTMF control using the remote shack or under RF uh, remote control via a little uh, for in the shack uh, or local control uh, of the eight different relays on board. So the first we have is the eight REL uh, relay controller okay and it comes in a little plastic pack with a cover and you can run all of your wires out this hole here uh, from the different relays. Uh, depending on uh, the current you want, you can run up to eight relays with five amps each, each cable, okay? And each one of these uh, relays is individually controllable from menu number six uh, in the Remote Shack's auxiliary menu. Here's a quick uh, look at the eight different relays. You can see right here by the relays, there are labeled terminal strips here on the, p on the printed circuit board. And that is for the single pole double throw uh, relays, onboard relays. Also on the side here, there's another circuit board uh, vertically. That is the RF uh, receiver for the remote control uh, that will allow you to also control the relays, the onboard relays. Uh, so the unit comes with a cable that plugs into the auxiliary port on the remote shack and goes directly to the controller. Okay, so you wire up, uh, it's plug and play, it comes already assembled for you uh, for plug and play operation. All you do is plug it into the back of the remote shack and you'll have eight relays from menu six. So that's the eight REL. Here's the remote that comes with the eight REL. It has eight different buttons on it for you to activate eight of the individual relays. Uh, for control. Uh, it has a little mounting screw on the back so you can hook it to a wall or to a surface and mount it directly and you can put, uh, tell us, uh, put the antenna down uh, if need be uh, if the distance isn't too far. This works all around my house. I haven't, I haven't been in a place where it hasn't worked yet. It really has a lot of distance. It's a 12 volt battery internally uh, just like a car remote so it does have the distance. And there's also a mounting, uh, mounting bracket on the back of the uh, 8 REL that you can also mount uh, to a wall or to a surface. So that's the 8 REL. Gets you eight, 8 relay outputs instantly. Uh, very nice and quick. And it also comes with a power supply to power the controller as well. In addition to that, if you need 120 volt outlets, we provide a, uh, the REL9, the RBC REL9. And this unit is similar to a regular power strip. Okay, it has eight, it has eight uh, outputs right here for at 120 volt, uh, one master uh, 120 volt input. Okay, and it also has uh, one, uh, one non-switched input over here if needed. But what's special about this power strip is it has a DB9 control on, the, on, on one side and, it, and in and out. These two DB9 connections are in parallel. And you simply connect the eight relays on the eight REL that I just showed you to the eight embedded relays inside this unit. And those relays will switch these relays on and get you eight, up to eight different uh, relays that you can control by connecting here to the input on this unit. So that, that works. It's 5 amps each one of these, up to 15 amps for the strip. So this works out very nicely for rotor controllers, power supplies, radios, things of that nature. What can also plug into the 9 REL that I just showed you is the 10 REL. And what this unit is here is this allows status monitoring of all of the uh, of all of the different switches. So if you want to know which switch is on or off, Okay, all of these switches will light up here, uh, showing you which one. And then these switches act as an override. So if you want to go ahead and, and switch uh, off or on, rather, a particular unit, even though it is off, you can certainly do so. Uh, there's a master switch over here as well that will turn all the, all the relays on or off. That's usually left on. And these eight uh, red switches you see here are momentary switches just for flashing the... Um, the particular output, uh, the 120 volt uh, outlet. So if you want to turn it on for a moment. So you got override and also uh, status of all the different switches uh, via uh, 
uh, LEDs that are internal to the switches. So that's how all three work together uh, and we'll show you how they're all connected and working in just a moment. So this is our RBC8 REL, our RBC9 REL, and our RBC10 REL. The RBC8 REL is directly connected to the line input on the uh, 9 REL, which is a 8 channel 120 volt output at 5 amps each channel here as you can see there's also the one unswitched outlet on the end there and then the line out is connected to the RBC 10 REL which allows you to uh, access each one of the switches and override each one of the switches that was set up by the remote shack uh, during remote control operation uh, or uh, the uh, RF remote operation here. So what I want to do first is I want to show you uh, the remote control operation. It's very simple. <laughs> you just press the button on the remote and that corresponding uh, 120 volt output is set. Now also the relay inside the 8 REL of course is set. So you don't have to purchase the 120 volt output if you just want to use the uh, relays and use the RF remote control with the relays you certainly can do that. So by simply pressing uh, the button on the remote it simply uh, applies that relay which in turn applies the relay inside the RBC9 REL. Uh, which then sends a signal to the status monitor to show you the status of each switch. When you press the button again after you've turned it on, it turns this, that corresponding uh, relay off, which then turns the relay off in the RBC9 REL, and then turns off the light on the status monitoring of the RBC10 REL. At any time, if you want to switch the uh, override and switch on that particular outlet uh, here as you can see then you can switch it uh, on manually you can also flash it with these here okay if you just want to switch it on for a moment for a momentary okay so let's go ahead and give the uh, our uh, remote shack a call So once we've accessed the remote check and entered our password, we go to menu number six. Auxiliary. And then once we reach into the auxiliary menu under pound six, uh, which is a unused menu up until now, now we enter in the number of the switch that we want, one through eight, and whether we want it on or off, zero or one. So in this particular case, uh, I'm going to turn switch eight on. Auxiliary 8 on. And you can see Auxiliary 8 popped on. Uh, same applies for uh, any of the other switches. So if I want switch 5 on, I just press 5 and then 1. Auxiliary 5 on. Okay. And then if you want uh, that corresponding switch off, then you just send the off command. So if I want to send 8 off, I send 8 0. So that does it for the demonstration of the RBC8 REL, the RBC9 REL, and the RBC10 REL. I, I would like to mention as well that you don't necessarily need the 9 REL or the 10 REL unless you want 120 volt outputs. Uh, if you just want relay outputs, all you need is the RBC8 REL.